Okay, here's here's one um, that we see enough that we're going to make a video showing how to how to fix it easily using some tools that have been added to the latest version. I'm not sure, but they were added at some point to Studio um, and probably aren't well known enough to be getting used efficiently. I'm going to go ahead and cover them. Um, you can see here I've got this new character morph that I just created, and if I apply that morph, you can see that it kicks in the navel. It's not supposed to. That's not dialing in the navel morph. You can see if I go currently used, it's not dialing in the navel morph. That's the navel is actually baked into that morph because I use the default Genesis 3 female that comes with Studio and exported from that and forgot to turn the navel off. And I also, would you believe, forgot to turn off the mouth realism morph. So if I hide the head, um, and you can see there's gaps in the teeth, uh, that's because, and I dial in my morph, and I go find my morph, there it is. When I dial in my morph, you can see it also affects the teeth because I forgot to turn off uh, mouth realism HD morph when I was doing that. And when I exported it to, to more make my make my morph, um, you can do this. Here's here's using the tools in Studio, newer tools in Studio. Uh, there's this there's this thing you can do if you go to the geometry editor tool and you go to vertex selection and you're in edit mode of the parameter pane. You can go like this and you select more vertices. You just you just right click next to the morph, select more vertices, and it'll highlight all the morphs that are used. And if I'm in wireframe view when that happens, um, I can zoom in. It automatically refocuses the camera on on your selection. So if you're doing if you're doing some small morph or a head morph, and it it, it zooms you all the way out, you've probably got morph or vertices being affected outside of the head area, for example. But here, if I zoom in, you can see that it's got the whole mouth area um, being affected, which obviously I did not want. Uh, there's two ways to fix this, two different ways to go about fixing the, the, the oops, I didn't mean to do that, depending on the situation, and, and they're not bulletproof for every situation, but they do work reasonably well. Here I am, I've still got the, the geometry editor tool selected, I've got my morph, doesn't matter if the morph's dialed up or not. Um, I do want to go ahead and set the morph as a favorite for now, because um, you can do this to more than one morph at a time. And I want to make sure my geometry selection is my geometry, my selection mode is in lasso, and then I'm just going to lasso the mouth geometry here. And with that being favorites, I'm going to go ahead and right click and then morph editing clear selected deltas from favorites. That does pretty much what it sounds like. It removes these deltas or these these verts um, from the favorited morphs, which happen to be this one here. I'm going to go ahead and unfavorite it now because I don't want to save it out that way on accident. And if I go and I do the select more vertices now, you can see it's no longer selecting the verts in the mouth. And if I if I hide the head, zoom in on the teeth, spin it around, dial my morph up and down, you can see it's very much not affecting the teeth anymore. So I can resave that morph now, and, and it's not going to affect the teeth. However, it's still affecting the navel. Um, because I know exactly what happened there, and what happened there is that I inadvertently had the navel dialed up. When I exported the morph, or exported the OBJ to make the morph, to remove the effect of the navel, I do pretty much the opposite. I'm going to go ahead and go to the waist. I'm going to go find the navel. Find the, there, there it is. I'm going to go find the navel. I'm going to dial it to negative 1 because it's limited at 0. Obviously, i got to change the limit or turn the limits off. And because it's a percent, I just change it to 0.001 instead of 01. Or negative 1. There we go. Negative 1. 100%. And so now I can dial it back to negative 100%. It completely removes the effect of the navel. And now I want to go ahead and re-export the OBJ to there or wherever. And then try to remember what I have dialed up. We'll go ahead and control shift F, control shift F to restore the figure to make sure everything's back to normal. And I don't think I had I don't think I had my mesh resolution set when I did that. So I'm gonna go ahead and kick it back to base mesh resolution. Dial my morph up again. up here. Dial my morph up again. That's the base resolution there. So I'm going to undial, undial the navel, 
because I know that I had the enable dialed in inadvertently when I exported it to make the make the morph. So I want to back the enable back out of it, and now I can export my OBJ at 10 megabytes. That was definitely definitely subdivided. Now if I restore it. bring it back in with more floater pro and I just want to go ahead and deltas only everything else will land where it already is so now if I dial my character up you can see that it doesn't doesn't affect the navel and won't affect the mouth it's hard to see like that let's do it this way doesn't affect the navel um, doesn't affect the teeth the teeth. So I can go ahead and resave my morph out now and you just save as support assets because that's back end file and a morph asset and you just go from there and save your morph back out over where you had the original one. And that's how you use the new tools in studio to clean up morphs that affect more than they should.